Hello, I just want to solve problem 3.6 from chapter 12 very quickly. So uh, here we have the question where we have a monopoly that sells its good in both America and Japan. America has this inverse demand function, Japan has this inverse demand function, and this is the monopolist uh, marginal cost. The first one is, the first question is, if the monopoly can prevent resale, that is, it's able to price discriminate, what will be the optimizing price, quantity, and profit in each of the two countries? The rule is set the uh, set marginal revenue equals marginal cost in each of the markets. So I have to solve the two markets separately. So here's uh, America. Doing it quickly here. So we know what the inverse demand function is. So I'm just going to write what the... Uh, Revenue function is, it's going to be 100 times QA minus QA squared. That is, it's price times quantity. And then I'm going to find the marginal revenue for America. That's going to be 100 minus 2QA. I'm going to set the marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So that is going to be 100 minus 2QA equals 20. And therefore, the quantity that the monopoly will sell in America is going to be equal to 40. The price they will charge in America is going to be equal to 60. And the profit they will make in America is going to be equal to 60 minus 20 times 40, which is equal to 1,600. All right, in Japan, the revenue function for Japan is going to be 80 times QJ minus 2QJ squared. The marginal revenue is equal to 80 minus 4QJ. Same intercept, twice the slope. Setting the marginal revenue equal to marginal cost gives us the quantity sold in Japan is going to be equal to 15. Oops equal to 15. The price charged in Japan is going to be uh, 50. And the profit made in Japan is going to be equal to 50 minus 20 times 15 equals 450. All right. The total profit made in both countries for this monopoly is going to be 2,000 50. I'm just going to, I just added up the profits made in each of the two countries. All right, so that's uh, if they can prevent resale. Next, I'm going to see what happens if they cannot prevent resale. All right, so if you are not able to price discriminate, then you will consider the two countries as a single market, and therefore you will determine what the uh, profit maximizing quantity and price is for the world market. So the first thing I'm going to do is put uh, find the two quantities. I'm going to add up the two quantities because in the world we're going to sell to both countries. Uh, so uh, I'm going to have to solve for that one, right? So the quantity is going to be the quantity in A. So uh, that's going to be PA if I just move that around. That's going to be equal to 100 minus P because the, the price is going to be the same in both Japan and in America. And then the demand function for Japan is going to be 40 minus 0.5 P. I'm going to add those up and therefore I'm going to have 140 minus 1.5 P. Right, I'm going to turn that into an inverse world demand function. So that's going to be 140 divided by 1.5 minus 1 divided by 1.5q, which is equal to mm, 93.33 minus 0.67q. All right, now I'm going to find a review, revenue function for the world. So that's 93.33 minus 0.67q times q, 
33q minus 0.67q squared. I'm then going to find the marginal revenue. Of course, we know what it's going to be. Same intercept and twice the slope. We we'll set that equal to the marginal cost. And in this example, marginal cost is 20. So I have 1.33q minus, no, equals 73.33q equals 52.5. Price charge in the world. Let me just calculate that. So that's going to be equal to... Um, Fifty-eight point sixteen, and therefore the the profit in the world fifty-eight point sixteen minus twenty times fifty-two point five, and that's going to be equal to two thousand and three point fourteen. All right, we double check two things. One. Is the price in between the two prices that we found for each country? And the answer is yes, because uh, the price in uh, the U.S. was 60. The price in Japan was 50. The world price is in between that, 58. Is the profit less than when we could price discriminate? Yes, 2003.14 is less than 2050. Everything is working out. Thank you very much.